I'm Ankit. I'm a software engineer at AppNexus. I'm Noah. I'm also a software engineer at AppNexus. Hi, I'm Jana. I'm a senior data scientist at AppNexus. And today we're going to break down our optimized breakdown session on using Genie to customize your click predictions. Thank you, guys. So we want to optimize uh, your CPC goal. And when you want to optimize your CPC goal, you can see it, um, you, wanna, you have an expected value of your impression and you want to break down it to two parts. So one part is expected uh, value of a click. You can define it yourself as a client or you can use a, a custom model to define it. And then you need to know the probability of a click given an impression. So this part is unknown. This part we are going to use, uh, uh, we're going to predict using Genie uh, up next up using Genie Appnex <laughs> programmable picking. So uh, to predict the probability uh, of a click given impression, we use a logistic regression. So logistic regression uses a, a vector set X when uh, we have a feature set of m many features, and each X is representing, this could be 0, 1, or could be some probability. Uh, historical CTR, it could be uh, uh, some, some other transformation, the transform feature, and we use this uh, feature set for impression to describe an impression, and then we plug it in in a logistic uh, regression formula, which is uh, P. Uh, the probability in this case would be uh, 1 over 1. <laughs> Yeah, one of uh, uh, sorry, one of uh, one plus uh, exponent, and then here we have b zero plus b one x one plus b two x two, and so on, till b n x n. So here the x is the same, guys, as here from a feature set. So the goal of our work is to learn this patterns to define the best way, uh, to describe the best way, the probability of a, of a click given impression, then to upload it here, and then to get the best evaluation for your impression. Uh, how we do this? So we have like an AppNexus, one of the like amazing sets of the data, because we have both sides, we have cell, that, cell side data and buy side data, so we can actually use a lot of transaction data to learn the best way uh, this probability. The more technical details, our uh, software engineer are going to tell now, <laughs> father. <laughs> so our in-house click prediction model has three jobs essentially. We do data preparation or feature extraction, then we do model training, so we get our best click prediction model, and then we select that best model in model selection, which is our third job. So feature extraction enables us to support different kinds of features, like hashed features in case we want to deal with large amounts of data we can reduce that amount of data um, reduce that feature space and then for model training we also have down sampling which enables us to uh, condense the data we have and so we can perform inference on it efficiently and run it often some of the engineering challenges we face are scale uh, latency of data and monitoring to make sure that our models are up, uh, up to date and hitting our KPIs. Um, for scale, uh, we are roughly around 100 gigabytes of transaction data for our test set, um, and we're expecting this to grow. For processing, we use Spark, which is distributed MapReduce in memory. Um, we use Parquet for compression, as well as HDFS for storage. Um, in terms of latency of data, we know that keeping our models up to date is extremely important, so we use our in-house scheduling system to update our models every single hour. Um, in addition, hitting our KPIs, we want to make sure that we're hitting our budget and our impression goals, um, all of which we have alerts set around. Thanks for listening. Hope to see you at the next Optimize. Mm -hmm.